Horror movies bring us together in a very peculiar way. Sitting down and watching a horror movie with a friend or a group of friends back in the 80s and the 90s when you're over at a friend's house and a horror movie marathon comes on and you see it in the TV guide and you're all like, let's do this. You order pizza, you get the drinks, everything's ready to go. Uh, at an older age nowadays, now when you have your friends over, sometimes you have horror movie nights and it's just a great way to bring people together and there's a different kind of energy that hovers around watching and enjoying horror movies together as a group. Now today with social media and people being on their phones all the time and the way people are just kind of pulled away from all of that a little bit, I feel like horror games in particular, the asymmetrical multiplayer horror genre kind of fills the gap of what we used to have back in the day and puts it into a video game form that we can enjoy constantly. So instead of just going over to the friend's house and having that one-off where we watch horror movies for one weekend as a big group and it's this big memorable experience, you know, something that you regard as nostalgia. Now with the horror asymmetrical genre, we can sort of get those feelings back on a daily basis as we play with our friends and family on these types of games. That these types of games bring people together and supply an energy that you don't really find in games like, say, Call of Duty or overly competitive games because you're concentrating more on beating the other player, getting the upper hand, you know, satisfying your ego and that's as far as it goes, it's just very competitive. Now, the thing that Gun Interactive, I think that they hone in on and they find this secret ingredient of energy that kind of brings people together in a way that they're enjoying the horror genre in a video game the exact same way you would is if you had a group of friends over watching a marathon of horror movies over a weekend it brings that energy of being able to come together and enjoy the genre in ways that we used to do back in the 80s and the 90s, whereas it's a little bit less so today because of social media and the shorter attention spans. Now, the reason why I say Gun Interactive pretty much are the only ones that have found this energy and honed it in a way that it's more positive than negative is because while the game is slightly competitive the experience is done so well and i've already spoken on this on a previous video so i'm not going to get too much into it but they found the ingredient that is when you whether you die or you win or whatever you come out the other side with a very uplifted experience it's a positive experience it's a good energy you enjoyed the roller coaster ride it was like going through a haunted house and you come out the other side happy and pleased rather than irritated and frustrated and you know all the negative feelings that go with losing in a video game all of that is kind of washed away because they concentrate on giving you this solid experience within the game now, Friday the 13th was the beginning of all of this. It had its jank, it had its issues, it had some mechanics that you guys know that even I had problems with, and I commented on them constantly. But, you know, after all of that, and then all this time has gone by, it's really refreshing to see Gun Media, Gun Interactive, they didn't give up, they went to the next project, head held high. I'm sure they've had their challenges and their what ifs and the risk taking. Should we do this again? You know, I'm sure they had all that kind of conversation, but I'm glad. I'm really glad that they took that step and did it again coming into Texas Chainsaw Massacre because you can tell that they've learned their lessons. They've learned through experience the bad and the good, what people like, what people don't like, and they've come out the other side with a game that I think is going to set sail. It's the sails are set. It has engines on the back, turbines ready to go. This thing is going to go and it's going to do well, I think. 
and it's really going to set the bar and show that this genre can evolutionize itself without doing the same thing over and over and over again because if you go and look at Dead by Daylight there's all these other games that are trying to sort of copycat it in a way and then you know you have all these people calling every single asymmetrical game that comes out now a Dead by Daylight clone even if they're not you know it's just that's how many years have gone by it's almost been a decade of people trying to make successful asymmetrical multiplayer games but they're not trying to take it to the next step and now gun interactive coming in they did it with friday the 13th even with all of its mistakes and now they're taking it and honing it with Texas Chainsaw Massacre and it's going to be a beautiful thing for horror fans and hopefully other developers will be able to come in and look at this game and be like okay well we need to really do something different and if we want to be successful with this genre because if you look at Texas Chainsaw Massacre it's not doing anything of what has come before except for maybe a few things from Friday the 13th you know it really organically feels like you're trying to get off of the premises away from these family of killers that are trying to stop you they have voiceovers there's characterization there's personalities there's depth to the characters the sound design is amazing it really does a good job of bringing you into the experience and I cannot express how much this makes me happy because I've been waiting for this game, you guys. And a lot of you know that if uh, a lot of you haters and lovers of my content out there who have been on my streams and my videos, I don't care whether you like me or not, but you know for a fact that I have been waiting for the, this game to happen for about five to six years now. And man, I cannot express how happy I am. I'm going to be stuck on it when it comes out. We're going to make a big community out of it. I'm, as long as the game stays alive and produces content, this is it. Like, And as wherever Gun goes next, I'll be there as long as they don't drop the ball. But I, after seeing this game, it's I don't think they're going to be dropping any balls anytime soon. Don't take that out of context. But and honestly, you know, I hope Killer Clowns comes out and does the same thing because, man, it would be really great to have this Texas Chainsaw experience alongside Killer Clowns, which hopefully they start giving announcements to. They've kind of went dark, if a lot of you have not noticed. Uh, I really hope that they're okay, and I hope that they get their experience out as well because this is, to me, in my personal opinion, Killer Clowns and Texas Chainsaw they could both be the big next steps to this genre and help it to kind of take off in a direction that it needs to go because all these other little side games like VHS, you know, these businesses are really trying to squeeze people for some cash and the freedom. They're trying to come out with a model for business and they're not really concentrating on the experience experience and it's just too much competitivity and it's just a very negative atmosphere for these games sometimes you can't even explain it but the game when it happens and you play it for about a couple of weeks or even just you know like four or five days once you've settled in and the players start getting accustomed to what's going on you start to see the cracks and the holes and i really believe it's because of the 1v4 or one it's having one killer i think was a big mistake to go with in this genre and uh, Texas in particular, I think, is taking a, a very correct step in changing it to 3v4 because now it's closer to being a little bit more balanced. It's going to be a little bit more easier. Well, still challenging in its own way, but probably a little bit more of an, a, a better outcome when it comes to attempting to balance for this kind of model instead of the 1v4 which i think is just tremendously hard to balance for as you guys can see dead by daylight constantly struggling to balance their game nobody's ever happy i think the balancing for texas chainsaw massacre will will have people coming out the other end with less criticism and complaints now one of the biggest aspects of texas chainsaw massacre the game that i like is the, the game promotes strategy. It, um, over time, people are going to change what they like to do because the killers 
grow more adept to what the uh, the victims are trying to do, right? Uh, you know, like we saw like a sneak peek of this over the technical test weekend where some victims would be like, okay, these two exits are really easy, you know, and they use it like throughout the day. But the family soon learns that, hey, these people are getting out through these two exits constantly. We need to start defending them. And then over time, you see more of the victims start to get dead, essentially. And then they have to learn. They'd be like, OK, well, now we have to learn how to find the other two exits over time. And then it's just I like this. I like this game's constant back and forth of learning to adapt which of the four exits that the victims are going to attempt to hit and how they're going to try to hit them there's so many options so many ways to mix it up and depending on what family members are on the map that's going to be a constant mix up as well this game has so much variety in the way a round can play out that i don't think it's going to be getting old anytime soon especially if they keep adding family members and victims and more maps every time they add a map a victim or a family member it's going to be huge that's a lot more that's a lot of gameplay as compared to a dbd map or whatever any of these other games types of maps you might enjoy it for like two or three days but in texas chainsaw's case learn you have to learn the map you have to learn what the family members are going to try to do out of three different people the same thing with the victims you got to learn what they're going to be trying to do out of four different people with different abilities this is constant fun on a long-term basis and that's basically what i wanted to talk about on this video is I think guns come a long way and they have this vision in their head and I'm so glad that they got it down with Sumo Nottingham and, and everybody that they have worked with has been on the same page and they got this out and it, it looks, feels and plays great. I really can't wait to see what they're going to do with this as the months and years start to roll by and where they're gonna go next you know so this is a big thing i can't wait to get on i really think guns coming back in a big way with this one horror in general this is a big w for horror in general not just video games but all around the horror community this is huge this is going to be really fun i feel like for for a lot of people and uh, i can't wait to see you know the stories of people meeting each other and just the, the type of the same things that happened with friday the 13th a lot of people have connected through that game and i'm sure 100 percent that it's going to happen the same way through texas chainsaw massacre if it hasn't happened already they've already had an event that just happened out in austin texas where people got together i'm sure people have already collabed there and met each other and it's just this is a beautiful thing that you don't see too often in the video game industry and I feel like that horror, the community of horror is really responsible for this in a very good way and there's nothing much like the horror nerd community. We're, we're geeks and it's, you know, it's funny how we take all these terrible things, blood, guts, gore and, and death and all this stuff and how it can be turned to something so positive it's still kind of mesmerizing to me but it works it's like a party and um i can't wait to see you guys august 18th as this all starts to roll out and get started we're going to be building a community for this where i can play with you guys and we can all find each other and play together on twitch follow me over there backslash laughing on twitch the same as my youtube channel you guys have an awesome rest of the month. Fourth of July is coming up. Have a good holiday. And I will see you guys upcoming in August. Bye-bye. <laughs>